Welcome back. Time for the hot topic buzz. The Biden White House keeps pushing for green energy, but it is not practicing what they preach. Documents assessed by Fox News Digital show that Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg traveled by private jet 18 times since taking office. All on your taxpayer dime, he went to places like Florida, Ohio, New Hampshire, even out of the country. The private jet's flight records match up with Buttigieg's schedule. Dagan, are you surprised? I would clutch my pearls if I actually owned any. I am shocked that these people who are looking out for Mother Earth would be flying on private jets. Are you just a Paul? Of course they're doing this because one thing comes out of their mouth and then behind the backs of the taxpayers they're doing something completely the opposite of what they're preaching. My, my favorite bit is that to Condé Nast Traveler, uh, just last month, Pete Buttigieg explained how he likes to arrive at airports an hour early and it has like pre-check and clear down, um, all that down to avoid delays. When you're flying private on the taxpayer's dime, you don't have to go through pre-check and you don't have to go through clear. And under and he knows that he's going to get in trouble for this and get caught because uh, previous people working in government who were Republicans got in trouble for it. In yeah. part, people have been forced to resign when they coupled like government and private trips. Uh, and just one more thing, if you're really going to force higher costs on people who can't afford it, in this country and elsewhere to save Mother Earth, you actually, if you're in government and a Democrat, you shouldn't be traveling at all unless you can bike there. Well, I mean, how about the biking that he said he was doing to work? Meanwhile, we actually saw the video. He was in his big SUV, uh, you know, mm -hmm. truck being driven. And then as soon as he gets a block away from the White House, he gets his bike out of the back trunk and he bikes to work for a block. Chris? Well, <laughs> I think he's trying to compete. Listen, what a joke. I, I think the goat, though, I think Pete's trying to catch up with the goat who has to be John Kerry when it comes to hypocrisy. And flying all over the globe. Well, they just had that conference in Egypt, and you just saw all of the private jets that were lined up at that big uh, uh, environmental COP. 20, oh, I forget what exactly what it 27, was. 27. Yeah, COP 27 conference. Or you go to Davos, it's the same thing. They're preaching all these things and they're all flying in on private jets. So again, it, the hypocrisy, it, it's, it's with us all the time with this stuff. It really is. I said yeah. on the five on Friday, I said, can I get a hallelujah that John Kerry never became president? I would like to <laughs> personally thank the fine people of Ohio for ensuring mm. that John Kerry was not elected president in the United States. Well, Way to go, he's still, Ohio. He's still having a big impact as climate envoy, so, you know, he's not, uh, uh, not, not uh, silenced, that's for sure.